So tell me what this is when one that comes around is. Mm-hmm. This is the what's coming. This is the. What's this coming around now? That's 58. And is that the Lima? That's the whole Lima. Are these the homie wagons? Yeah, I think so. That must have been new painted and new wheels. And I've put some of the clean up rooms as well. What kind of wagons are these? Them, they're road railers. Um, they were an experiment just before containerization came in. So they had a little pivot oh, wheel. Oh, like, yeah. a, like American road railers? Yeah, but smaller. There's no wheels in them at the moment. Are they the scratch build these? No, they're. Um, Oh, okay. and there's kit there. There's no kit from the 1960s. And how long were these in, in service? And the no, real the real long. ones? It was sort of a yeah, if I get a if I get a wheel in it you'll see. They got strip them for painting, you see. So when it got to the depot they took the, the train wheel off? No, no, it would pivot. So the train wheel would go up and then the the, the um the road wheel would go down and then they couple the lorry on. So they would, they would go like this, you see, and that was that was how it worked. And then and then the next one would couple on like this, you see. So you would have their own coupling system. Yeah. So you could draw them along like that. You couldn't couple anything to the back of them. Apparently they were a bit unstable at speed because they were sort of they were light. light enough for lorries, but not heavy enough yeah. for the railway speed. They, they used to have them all at sixty mile an hour, but I think it was a bit here and scary. Video on YouTube, I'll send you a link. And that was in the 60s or 50s? Yeah, it was, it was just before the, the, the sort of uh, the sort of container came in. Just before they came in, they did the freight line or something. Oh, yeah. This, 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 this pacer here? Yeah. And is that the, well, who made that one, the Lima one? That's a Hornby one. And did you do anything the motor with it? Uh, the only thing I've done with that was I've coupled the motors together with the um, common keys. It's made it run smooth, more smoothly. So that's what these wires are here. So that was... There's two motors? There's the motor in each end, but there's, there's only one pickup on one side, so you're only not picking up on three oh, okay, wheels. Yeah, okay. So basically I've got six wheel pickup and they do actually run smooth and more smoothly. Right, so bring it to the now. It's quite noisy actually, doesn't it? So do you have a the regular pancake motor in them or? No, there's just a little diddy. It's actually the same motor as in the 58s. So like a warm good. motor? Yeah. Right, I'll get this intercity out of the way with I should have been on there. I've been on the real one of these. Yeah. Down to our own place. They were actually developed from um, the APT project. Because we had um, some freight wag- wagons, HSV 1, 2, 3 and 4 with specialist suspensions. And it was to do with um, tractor wheel interface dynamics. The riding at speeds and suspension types, so they did various high speed freight wagons. Yeah, which, um, from there. What, uh, what livery is that? That's um, passenger transport executive, and, and that was like post British Rail. Yeah, it was a new factor of the Oh, right, which is an amazing thing. Yeah, yeah. It was a bit jerky because it would lose contact and it only had three wheels, but with putting the wires through between the motors, it just runs great. But well, what it means is when you, you can't split it as a separate unit. Did you know that the, uh, the Philadelphia Transport Authority bought them? I bought a pair of something to test them. Well, they've got that on the list. 
One of these, yeah. Want to fill it out, yeah? No, I like one of these. That's the one. <laughs> what, what's that one? Um, I can't remember. I think that was the one that went to Philadelphia. That was the one that went to the United States, but I think it came back. Yeah, they hated it. But I'm not surprised. They have the, the, the radiator on the roof was like the bud, you know, the bud already see. Yeah, it used to leak. We used to go to college with them and it used to be really leak, cool, and you'd be sat under in the middle and they'd be dripping on you. So that's made out of one of them with um, cut up and narrowed and diddled about with. For HO scale? Yeah, no, this is no, it's double O gauge. And this is um, a Pico bus kit. And then I've modified the chassis. See, so they actually sort of actually fit on. It's a nice livery there. That's the, I can't believe that's the Philadelphia Transit livery, right? Yeah, it's LEV. I just said that now, you have it. Yeah, I've already got a model of it. <laughs> <laughs> the pillars. Um, what, what are these for? What's these are motor rail wagons. They should have this many on, which is, hang on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, I counted 12 pillars, but of course I forgot the end ones and then I spaced them out. And, so I'm having to cut them all off and replace them all because I'm a nitwit. So I've done one side of all of them. I've got to do the other side now. So I've cut every other one out, replace it. And then remark it and all this. Yes, so, yeah, and after doing them all to it's a bit of a sickness, it. Yeah. The ones I got right with these ones, which are slightly different version, these have got lift out sections at the ends. So you could come on a platform, lift the sections out, and they could drive in from the side rather than being unloaded. Yeah. So if you had, say, like a London to Inverness or Stirling motor rail, it could stop off at Crew and Preston. You could take and cars off it. halfway down the train. So they used to marsh, right, yeah. marsh all the trains up appropriately and then you could drive cars on and off without having to worry about shunting it into a, an end loading platform. So it would only be like 10 15 minutes. This is the Lima uh, railcar. I ordered these. Yeah, AEC railcar. I've got it up basically. I've got the Great Western version. I've got the, the British Railcar on the bus. Yeah, basically they were the same thing, slightly different arrangements in the passenger compartments yeah. and a different cab end on them. Yeah. It's they were probably the forerunner of rail cars, weren't they? Everywhere. Oh yeah, they, they, they were bloody good things at the time in the Great Western Commission. Then. And the, the ones that went to Ireland were very, very similar mechanically to those. Well, they, they look, the except for the sh shape of the roof line, Yeah. they do look like the Irish ones. Yeah, well you, you've got this big dink. Well, and the same yeah. shape of the, the windows as well. Yeah, all good fun. Is this an unmodified Hornby uh, ferry van? No, it's a slightly modified one. Um, Let's see it. Because I'm working on these at the moment. I, I cut them off and then the, the, the pedestals that they fit to, I file them down a bit, but I can't remember by how much. And then it drops them down because the buffer height should be 11 mil, and I think they're about 12 or 13. And also, so, I was reading that they're a little too wide, but not too much. Oh, yeah. Not enough that you'd want to bother with it. Basically, it's a height. They're too high. They stand too high on the rails. They were, they were a good model for the day, good, too. Good model, yeah. So, basically, I've, I've um, altered the pedestals where because they, they pop in and out, don't they, on a little plug. Yeah. Cut that down so that it stands the correct buffer height, which is easy to work out. Are they still independently articulated? No, I've, I've locked them up, but I've got yeah, but you've wide course on I've this. Got, I've got gentle curves, so I'm yeah. all right because I find they wobble about. And I've, I've been I've been doing these as well. I've been altering the suspension on this in the same way. Same thing, yeah. Because the the actual underframes for these vans are incorrect. They're correct for these types of wagons, but they're incorrect for the vans, so they're all getting a bit of modification as you. I can always see. thought they were very European looking vans. They are. They look like German or ones. Or French, though, French so. ones. Yeah. yeah. Right, let's see if we can get this going now. Uh, this is does this deep. one does this one have DC sound? No. I'm not the one noise, is it's not good. 